In this video, we're going to show you some of our suggested starting points for building your PPC campaign with SEMrush. We know the interface can seem large and can be easy for new users to get lost. So take this advice if you need some direction on how to begin. For the sake of organizing our process, we grouped our starting points into three phases, competitor analysis, keyword research, and campaign planning. The first thing you'll want to do when planning a new campaign is analyze everything your competitors are doing. Whenever you run an AdWords campaign, you're competing with a bunch of other sites for impressions and clicks. It's a competition out there. There are two main reports to use for finding competitors, organic competitors and advertising competitors. You'll want to use both because they'll tell you different things. When you enter your domain into the organic competitors report, SEMrush will show you the domains that compete with your site most often for positioning on the organic search results. The advertising competitors report will tell you which domains compete with your site the most amongst paid keywords. If your domain has never run AdWords before, your advertising competitors report will be blank. But if you have run them in the past, you'll be able to pinpoint the websites that are most frequently competing with you or your target keywords. History is important because it allows us to learn from past mistakes so we can do better in the future, right? Well, when planning a PPC campaign, the ads history report will allow you to unearth the ancient ads that your competitors ran over the past year. For any of your competitors running AdWords, you can actually pinpoint exactly when and where they placed ads over this past 12 months from this report. Enter a competitor's domain and you'll see all of the ads that they ranked within the top 11 paid positions over the past year. With this info, you can tell if they took a seasonal or year-round approach to their strategy. Using a seasonal approach to pay-per-click campaigns can be effective, especially during the holiday season or for seasonal products and services. For example, a landscaping service wouldn't probably only want to advertise in the spring and summer months, and a winter boot product campaign would be more effective during the late fall and the winter. However, with more seasonal advertising comes more specific competition, so you're going to need the best research you can get to build your strategy around. If you sell a seasonal product, take a look at larger retailers like Target or Walmart, for example, and find out which months they started advertising for their various seasonal products. The next report to use in your competitor analysis is the ads copies report. Here you can see all of the ads in your competitor's strategy and even click through to analyze their landing pages. For each ad, you can see the number of keywords it ranked for and each keyword's volume. Export this report to a spreadsheet so you'll always have your competitor's strategy available to study. Next is keyword research. To start, we're going to use the Domain vs. Domain tool. This is one of the most versatile reports to use in SEMrush and a perfect place to start your keyword research. Enter your domain and one or more of your competitors to see all of the common keywords your websites are already going after, as well as any keywords that are unique to you or your competitor's site. This report can analyze both organic and paid keywords, so you can find gaps in your competitor's advertising strategy as well as your organic rankings. For example, you can discover keywords that your competitor advertises on where you have no visibility. These are good targets for a campaign to compete with your competitor for these paid clicks. If your competitor runs consistent ads for a keyword, you can infer that the searchers convert and are worth the ROI. You can discover keywords where your competitors get organic traffic from and you have no visibility. These could also be good keywords for a campaign aimed at stealing some of their organic traffic by bidding on the keywords and running ads. You can enter your domain twice, once for organic and once for paid, to discover where you might be wasting your budget on keywords you don't need to advertise on, since your website has ranking for organic results. Take this list of keywords, remove them from your AdWords, and save some money. Once you've found some potential target keywords, you can enter it into the search bar to evaluate its volume, cost per click, competitive density, and more. Enter any keyword into SEMrush search bar to jump to the keyword analytics area. Once you have a keyword in the search bar, you can jump between all of the different reports in the keyword analytics section. Go to the phrase match report to look for extended searches, including the query keyword. 
Add a filter here to generate a list of long tail keywords. Once you have a long tail keyword in the search bar, jump into the related keywords report to see all of the common misspellings and closely related searches for the same specific need. If you want to target a hyper specific keyword, this is the way to go. And of course, don't forget to try out the keyword magic tool. This tool has an expanded database of keywords so you can get even more ideas and export them by their group. A great way to conduct research on niche markets and subtopics related to your business. As you generate your list of keywords to target, export to a CSV or Excel spreadsheet to save your research. After you've finished your keyword research, it's time to plan out your ad groups and campaign. And SEM Rush has you covered here too. Find your way to the project section and create a project with your domain. From here, you can set up the PPC keyword tool. To plan your campaign, navigate to the Projects section and set up the PPC Keyword Tool. You'll have five options to import keywords into a campaign when you set up your project. Enter your keywords manually, generate a list from our keyword research reports, or upload a file. CSV and Excel files are compatible with AdWords, so you can export your existing campaigns and edit them in our tool. After adding keywords, you can set your location and start the tool. Your keywords will be in a table to the right and your groups will be in a list to the left. Adding groups, moving keywords between groups, and adding new keywords will be easy with the controls of this interface. When you add new keywords, you can create a new group for them with the group drop down at the top right of the window. Here we'll add a new group of keywords based on the keyword black gaming chair. The quick recommendations panel lets you generate cross group negatives, clean your keywords, or remove any empty groups in a small number of clicks. A common mistake made in PPC campaigns is having the same keyword in more than one ad group. As a result, advertisers could see two of their ads competing against each other on the results page, which hurts the quality score of your ads. By adding specific group level negative keywords to your groups, the predicament can be avoided. Instead of having to cross-reference your entire campaign in a spreadsheet or multiple browser tabs, SEMrush lets you generate these in one click. For even more specific targeting, you can make single keyword ad groups with one click. Just select the keyword you want to make a new group for and hit Create Groups under the Action tab. If you want to start a campaign from scratch, you can do that too. Starting a new campaign and importing keywords from a file or directly from a report on SEMrush can be done in only a few minutes using the Setup Wizard. Now that you've set some ad groups for a campaign, you'll want to check out the Ads Builder. If you need inspiration for your ad copywriting, this tool will get you started. This tool is also found in the project section and will allow you to clone and alter real ads that previously ran on AdWords to make them your own. Enter a keyword or a domain in the ads research tab and SEMrush will pull up all of the ads that ranked for the keyword or came from that domain that you queried. Hit the use as template button and begin customizing the ad to make it your own. Use your competitor's ads as templates and customize the copy to be relevant for your own website. So there you have it. If you follow these steps when researching and building your PPC campaign, you'll be setting yourself up for success. Thanks for watching and smash that subscribe button.